Welcome back to Copy AI 101. In the last couple of tutorials, we showed you how to create an optimized SEO content brief and an outline for your net new pieces of content. Today, I'm going to show you how to piece that together to go from SEO content brief to full blog post in minutes. And this is the same workflow that I use here in my day-to-day -day work as the head of organic marketing at Copy AI. So let's jump in. The easiest way to start is by using our prompt templates. We've reviewed the prompt library in the last couple of videos, but if this is your first time with us today, uh, simply click on browse prompts and you'll be greeted by several prompt templates that really cover everything from SEO, content marketing, email marketing, and really everything in between. So for today, we are going to start with our SEO content brief prompt template. In my workflow, I always start with my content brief and then use that brief to create an outline. So let's use the keyword AI for marketing. And in this example, I am actually using GPT-4. Uh, GPT-4 is available on all pro copy AI accounts. Uh, this will still work uh, even if you're, you know, you're on a free account and you're not using GPT-4. Uh, but G GPT-4 is better at reasoning. It can produce longer outputs. Uh, so that's why I'm using it for this example. But in this content brief, you can see uh, chat actually went out, scraped the SERP, classified each ranking URL. Is it a blog? Is it a landing page? And it uses that data to give you a recommendation on what you should create. Of course, we have our funnel stage, target audience, all of our secondary keywords, jobs to be done, target word count, multiple working titles, a slug, and a meta description. So now we have our content brief. So we can say, great. Uh, now use uh, this brief to create an outline. Now Copy AI is going to use the brief above to create an outline for our piece of content. So as you can see, we have our introduction, now we're breaking down into separate sections, understanding AI and its role in marketing, the benefits of using AI and marketing. We actually have a blog post that's live. If you go to copy.ai forward slash blog, um, that's targeting AI for marketing. So looking at this outline, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty strong, actually. Uh, we cover a lot of the same material in the blog that we have live. So once chat is done building the outline, what I like to do is have chat kind of go through section by section and create content for me. Um, so once this wraps up, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Great. Now we have our full outline built out using the SEO content brief that we generated. So you can see we have our introduction. We have our sections of our content here. It's all relevant. It all makes sense for what we're looking for. Um, and a pro tip, you can even have chat include relevant statistics and back that up with sources as well. Uh, but for today's example, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it simple. So we have the outline and I can say, uh, great. Now create uh, content for sections and we can go up and we could say, let's do one, two, uh, three, and four. One thing to note with uh, GPT-4, again, as mentioned, it it's better, has better reasoning. It can produce longer outputs, but it is a bit slower. And again, this is the workflow that I use. If you want to build out content for more sections or build out all at once, you could definitely do that. Um, this is the approach that I, I like to take. I am um, I'm very detailed when, when, when it comes to the content that, that we build out, uh, whether, you know, it's AI assisted or is hundred percent AI, you know, generated, um, or even working with, you know, our, our super talented team here. I always like to take a moment, you know, make sure everything is, um, accurate, make sure, um, it's hitting on the right points that the content's engaging, it's actionable, insightful, um, but you may have a different workflow that, you know, works best for you. And that's totally okay. Um, whether you want to build out the content section by section or just do it all at once in one go, uh, you could totally do that. Uh, it's really no difference in the output. This is just the way that I like to build it out. All right. And once chat is done, 
uh, with this output here, we'll add this to our editor and start to format that piece of content. Great, now chat has followed the instructions, built out content for each section that I outlined above um, in my prompt here. So we see I have our introduction, I have section two, the points under section two, three, and section four, all built out. Even interesting, it, it mentioned copy AI. Um, we didn't mention anything about copy AI in here at all. Uh, again, like our, our, our chat can pull real-time data, it can access the web. Uh, so it's always pulling relevant, relevant information here as we build out content. So great. So let's go ahead and add this to our editor. You click here, added it to our editor, and now you can format your content. Um, you know, we have our introduction. You can make these H2s. Okay, maybe this is our H3. Right. So this is the great thing about using the built-in editor and copy AI. The other benefit is, let's say, you know, you see this intro and you're like, yeah, like it's okay, but maybe, maybe I want to try out a, a different version of this. You can actually highlight the, the content and regenerate, rewrite uh, that section. And we'll give you a few different options to choose from here. And once you find one that you like, you can go ahead and click accept and boom, there it is in your piece of content. So you could do that throughout this entire outline as, as well. Awesome. So we've gone from SEO content brief to outline to actually creating content for each section of the outline. Again, uh, I typically break it down into a few sections. You can create the entire piece of content if you'd like, this is the workflow that I find that works best for me uh, and my team. But now that you know how to piece together each component of your content creation workflow, go ahead and jump in, give it a try, and leave us some feedback.